Sup, my fellow Greek legends. Uh, I have had the best idea. It's sick. It's a new way of governing our people and I call it democracy. Uh, sorry, what's that? Well, rather than the rich and powerful people just telling everyone what to do all the time, people get to vote for their leaders. Uh, so the public get a say. One man, one vote. Or uh, one person, one vote. <laughs> BC gone mad. Not sure women voting will fly. Well, it's a good thing we have a soothsayer. I've foreseen that's going to happen in a place called Australia in the year 1894. Ah, oh, that's actually sooner than I would have guessed. Uh, all right, what else you got? Bro, I've got it all covered. All decisions in democracy will reflect the will of the people. Hang on, hang on. Um, who's going to pay for this? The government elected by the public are representing the public, so the public purse will pay. We'll cover it all. Cool. Uh, nice idea. What if we also make it that people can donate to the politicians? You know, give them a little help along the way. Right, uh, not exactly what I had in mind. Would there be limits on how much these rich people could donate so as not to distort the system and give these rich people privileged access? Um, nah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking no limits whatsoever. Like, the richer they are, the more they can give, the more access they receive, so the more influence they'll be able to gain over politicians. Look, I'm gonna be honest, that doesn't sound great. Um, I assume they would have to disclose these donations publicly. Ah, I mean, only if they were like really, really, really big. <laughs> okay, uh, and when would they tell the people about these donations? I mean, surely they should know immediately. Eh, I don't know, I'm thinking like a year or so later, you know, once the heat's died down a little. <laughs> Just so no one can jump to any conclusions. <laughs> Okay, right, but in your system, would there be any limit on how much people could donate or receive or spend? I mean, this has to be a system for all the people. Now, nah, I'm thinking no limits on donations or election spending. Uh, they'll need the money to be able to spread their message to the people, right? You know, advertising. Uh, okay, and, um, and this message that they spread, um, would it have to be true, factual, and faithful to the people that they represent? To be honest, I was thinking more like they just say whatever they want and no matter how false, I imagine the point of it would be to utterly destroy one's opposition through talking shit about them. What the actual Philippides? This, this completely ruins the whole system. I mean, surely no country in history would ever accept such a distortion of the system of democracy that I am presenting. I don't know, let's throw to the soothsayer. Yes, this is the exact system used in Australia in 2021. What? What? You're kidding me. I saw it in this documentary, Big Deal. Actually, we've got one of the worst sets of political donations laws in the developed world at the federal level. Surely not as bad as America. Worse. He's only wearing a hat because he's bald. Um, can I watch it? You know, this is for soothsayers only, so you might actually have to wait till it's out on ABC and iView from October 19th, 2021. Amazing, all that promotional detail was in the dice? Nah, man, TV week. 